So, we have a lot to do to the EG hatch today. Before this video begins, I want to apologize for any shots that are out of focus. I'm currently filming on my DSLR because my Canon G7X is broken. I don't know when I'm going to get it back. They said 7 to 14 days, but until then, I got to use this. I got to keep making that content for you guys. Also, before this video begins, I want to say if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I have several different goals that I want to hit by my first track day. I want to hit like 500 subscribers, and we're almost 100 subscribers away. So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, please go hit that subscribe button. I make some pretty cool content in this EG, and it's it's definitely a cool project. For the EG hatch, we have a lot of stuff to do to it. So for the EG, we have a lot of parts, and one of the reasons why I haven't made a video in like two weeks is because we've just been waiting for parts to come in, and I've been a little discouraged because I don't have my nice point and shoot Canon G7X that I can literally just put in my pocket and go wherever I want and film things with it. We have a ton of parts to put on this car. Now some of the parts that we have include that exhaust gasket right there, which goes right here, and then in those boxes right there were new headlights which are right here. We didn't get these. I thought they would come with them, but they didn't, but that's okay because all we need is for this to project light so that we could drive this thing at night. And this side actually doesn't work, so we're gonna have to figure that out, and I think it's because it's a bad connector. We also have these coilovers right here. Now those are Coney Yellow. They're super good for tracking, and the only thing we have to do to these, right here where the bolt goes through, there's supposed to be like a welded on nut right there, but there isn't, so we have to go to Lowe's, and you know just get a nut and bolt that fits through there properly so austin has joined the party yeah it's, 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 it's. really dude we're gonna go ahead and start taking out the root struts and go ahead and put the new ones in i did go to home depot and get all new hardware so if you've been watching this channel for a long time you know that we have done a lot of suspension jobs on the rsx srt4 and now the eg it's honestly so easy just the top bolts on each side, and then a few bolts on the bottom. It's just an easy job, you know? Super easy. It's though. the same, it's literally the same thing for like every car. So literally in the matter of 10 minutes, we were able to get this in. All right, so now we're gonna- Do the other rear. We're gonna do the other rear, or do you wanna tempt the front? No, we're gonna do the other rear, and then we'll worry about the fronts later. Because the rears are easy, the fronts we're gonna have to have some time, and because for noise reasons, we're probably gonna have to take those front ones off, take him to the dead end street and so we can beat the shit out of him with the hammer. Right, right. Because you know, we don't want to wake up people, so. Right. We're so respectful. We are very respectful, kind of. All right, so apparently these coilovers are pre-adjusted for an EG hatch, because this is what they came off of. So hopefully this fitment isn't AS. Not bad. Not bad. Once we actually get the wheels on it. So before this video goes any further, I want to give a huge shout out to TH Motorsports. They hooked us up with these coilovers. These are actually used coilovers from a guy named Evan. He also owns an EG, super clean, case swapped, and he was kind enough to sell us these at a very reasonable price. And then TH Motorsports hooked us up with their shipping company and was able to ship us these coilovers out here. Huge shout out to you guys. I'm going to leave all their information in the description below. You can follow Evan at his Facebook and then TH Motorsports, their website, Facebook, everything. Shout out to Will Long and Eric Dewey, DeWitt. Super cool guys, go check them out. Back to the install. So we just went ahead and moved the EG over here just so that we could have a little bit more room to work on it. This side is also complete. Looks pretty good. It'll look better when we put the new wheels on it. Hopefully we can get those soon. Right, Austin? We're gonna wait to do the fronts. What? Wait, we're not doing the fronts? What do you mean we're gonna wait to do the fronts? Wait, how, I thought we couldn't do the fronts. Are we doing the fronts or not? I mean, you gotta send it. I don't know, because I told them we could wait on the front, we could just do them off camera. They're not necessary because the noise is now gone. We'll kind of hold off on the fronts for now, and then we'll just go and do the exhaust gasket and then maybe the trans seal. We'll see. Trans seal is gonna be kind of a bitch because I didn't get a punch pin. I meant to get one. You're kecking us. I'm so sorry. So the exhaust gasket is done. I think we're gonna call it a day, and then the rest of the stuff, we'll probably just end up doing off camera. If we do do it on camera, you guys obviously see it. We just have the front coilovers to do. Rod has to come over, do the O2 sensor, clean up all the wiring. We also have to do the trans seal, because it's leaking trans fluid. You wanna give her a start? Rip. There's a ton of bolts falling off this thing. I told you to take it out. That's 
way better. It's good. I'm holding the gas. I know. Well, the exhaust leak is gone. And before we end this video, we're gonna go take it out on a quick little drive. We're gonna give you guys some exhaust clips because I haven't done a proper exhaust clip video of this thing yet. So there's still a bit of an exhaust leak, but that's okay for now. We're gonna give you a little bit of an exhaust clip from the back. All right. I'm not even kidding. The induction is so loud. Like the car itself is quiet, but oh my god, dude, that is literally amazing. It's so loud. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So just to conclude, this thing honestly sounds so cool. It's not that loud, it doesn't sound ricey, it doesn't sound raspy. The induction is honestly just super, super loud. We have a few more things to tidy this car up and it should run a whole lot better. Like that headlight right there, but for now, it'll work. Again, huge shout out to TH Motorsports and Evan for helping us get these coilovers. Honestly, this car just makes me smile. Like, we do a ton of stuff on Snapchat that we do off camera, you know, like pulls, you know, car meets, stuff like that. He just did a video on his Snapchat and just this thing pulling away and it's so loud. Like, as you guys saw, the induction is just unbelievable. Anyways, that's where we're gonna end today's video. I know we didn't get everything done that I told you guys earlier that we were gonna get done. You know, Rod didn't come over. Screw you, Rod. I'm just kidding. Rod, we love you. Super, super thankful that Rod is here to help Help us with the wiring so definitely go give him some love all of his social media is in the description below once again thank you guys so much for watching this video today guys if you're new please hit that subscribe button if you guys have been watching the videos for like a few weeks now you guys will have known that we are having a competition with a few other youtubers and basically what happened is we got cheated. If you guys know a YouTuber by the name of Jinjim, he is also in the Illinois area. He gave our buddy Mike Pico a shout out. So huge shout out to Mike. Mike is actually right now having a competition with our friends, some of our friends, to see who can get to a thousand subscribers first. He was one of the main competitors in this competition. So he does the shop, he welds up exhaust, does all the stuff. For one of Jinjim's cars, his FC RX-7, he welded up a custom exhaust for him and ended up giving him a shout out and told him about this bet that we're having. Now Mike Pico or Red Mist Automotive is the YouTube channel. He is at like 3,500 subscribers, just surpassed that thousand subscriber goal that we all had. So rip to that. I don't know how the bet's gonna work now, but someone's gonna end up shaving their legs. We'll figure it out. But anyways, definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos of the EG and whatever else we have planned as far as car meets and you know, just goofing off. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Well, <laughs> every time. <laughs> Is that it? So we have the exhaust gasket put in. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm trying to film a video here. <laughs> oh, who is that?